Malta. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from The Company Code, author, educator and public speaker. Today I'm going to talk about Malta. Malta was a family holiday that I had the pleasure of going on back in 2005. Now, what was really unique about this holiday it was that it was the not just the standard amount of people on this holiday. I will elaborate later on, but as a holiday, this was a lot of my family. A lot of close family as well, actually. But I'll get on to that later. Malta is a beautiful little island off the coast of Italy in the Mediterranean Sea. It's a very, very Christian place. Respect their culture if you're going there. This place has over 350 churches on, or something stupid. They are very welcoming to visitors. Uh, particularly the British, that goes back to what our grandparents did in World War Two. to be honest. They defended that island from the German invasion, so they're very fond of the British. But they're very welcoming to all visitors. Be under no illusions, tourism is a huge part of that area. So you will be made to feel welcome. There's a very nice family feel to the place as well. And while it isn't Italy, it does have that nice like chic feel to it but perhaps not as rich as say somewhere like Milan or anywhere like that I suppose that is just a one-off place but Malta definitely is a very beautiful holiday destination so back in 2005 August time summer me my mother father brother and sister my dad's sister my aunt uncle and my two cousins my mum's brother, his wife, so my aunt and uncle, my dad's great uncle, so my dad's uncle, my great uncle, should I say, my grandmother and my grandfather all went to Malta, as well as the girlfriend of my cousin at the time. That worked out as about 15 people. Yeah, you heard me right. 15 of us went on holiday. It was one of those where... We mentioned to someone, we're going away to Malta this year. I think initially it was just myself, uh, my aunt, uncle, cousins, and my nan and granddad. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother had been having uh, treatment for cancer the year before and was due to be in remission. So I think it was kind of a, a poignant moment for her to be going on holiday again, you know. And enjoying herself. And rightly so, you know. Obviously we mentioned it to the wider family. And then all of a sudden, Uncle Reg, great Uncle Reg has joined. And so too has my Uncle Bruce and my Auntie Carol. And before you know it, what started off as a reasonable sized party became a lot bigger. And uh, but really enjoyable for all of us involved. One thing you will find about Malta is that the weather is absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of these places where pretty much all year round, it's pretty good. It doesn't really get really that cold. It might drop down to what the locals would call cold. But in all fairness, for somebody who comes from a country that, I've got to be honest, it doesn't get very warm here very easily. It's really nice. And if you're from somewhere in the world where you don't see the sun a lot or you weather is very mixed, Malta is a great place to go. You know, it's not that far away from the equator. You've got Africa across the water there, so you get the hot winds off the Sahara Desert. And as I said, as a place, it's very nice. It's got like a, a bit of a sea vibe to it. You know, like some of the main cities there, like Valletta, the capital. It's like built into the rocks. There's massive ports. There's a lot of fishing type areas, you know, a lot of places like locally that you can go for like a, a restaurant and it'll be facing like the sea or out to the sea. It has that nice sort of vibe to it. Um, the hotel staff are incredibly, incredibly friendly and welcoming. I don't mind telling you, my mum, my grandmother and my grandfather all share like a very similar birthday date. 
like my granddad was the 25th of August, my mum's the 26th of August and my nan's the 28th of August. On every day, they made us cake. Yeah, you heard me right. We had a birthday celebration for every birthday in those three days. We were sick of cake at the end of it, but that's how good they can be and how accommodating they can be as people. So like that really sticks in the memory. Sure enough, doing one birthday is enough, but to go and do three and to put as much effort into every single one of them is just like, you know, it's unheard of. But that's that's the feel you'll get there. It's very much a family place, as I've said. And if you've got a young family or, you know, even if you've not a family, even if it's just you and uh, your partner, go. It's a really, really, really beautiful place to visit. If you're interested in, like, your drinking establishments and, like, partying, then you've got St Julian's, which is like the capital for partying, should I say. There's a lot of nice clubs and bars. Like anywhere really on holiday, you've got that. If that's not your scene, don't worry. There's lots of beautiful beaches and places you can go and soak up the beautiful sunshine. I did on many occasions. Believe it or not, I'm a massive sun worshipper. I don't stay in it as much as I used to because... Well, in all honesty, I need to look after this. <laughs> and of course, um, yeah, as you get older, I suppose, your tolerance level goes down for extreme heat. I know mine has a little bit now. Although you're not really meant to stay in it more than half an hour. Anyway, I digress. So, definitely, you will get that aspect if you're going to look for that. And uh, I had the pleasure of doing a boat trip. Now... If you get the opportunity to do a boat trip out in Malta, I would thoroughly recommend that you do it. We climbed on board a very large boat. There was a family in charge of it, a captain and his family. Yeah, really great. We went out into the Med, right out there. It's almost went over to one of the surrounding islands. I forget the name now because it's been quite a few years. And then we stopped, docked in just in the middle of the sea. So we weren't like right in the middle we were not too far from the shore you could actually swim to shore if you wanted to it's a island and uh, yeah we were jumping off the boat into the sea and having a swim it was really really great i will say be careful there are jellyfish in the water which is obviously if they sting you it hurts but you can go anywhere in the world and encounter an animal like that and in that particular water and just be like well never actually come across it so don't let that put you off I had a swim we all had a swim I did get stung a couple of us did but it's it's your choice whether you jump in the water or not but it was great fun I remember my great uncle at the time who was like in his 80s jumping off the boat evergreen was on courage that was that was great and uh, one word of advice if you are going to this country and I'm not trying to like put you off, but I do need I do I always owe it to you to be honest. Do look after yourself when you're out in the sun and how much exposure you have to the sun. When I was a lot younger I was quite vain, not gonna lie, very vain in fact. And I love the sun and I love sun tanning, I love spending lots of time in it. In all in hindsight I probably spent too much time in it. And I'd remember I don't know if it was seasickness or something, but I got back to the hotel room later that evening after being on the boat. And the bed was going like that. And I don't know if that was like my head from the sun or seasickness or something. I, mean, I wasn't physically sick or anything, but the motion of the boat maybe. It was bizarre, I'll tell you that. But anyway, it was just part of it and part of the experience of Malta. A really great experience, a really wonderful, wonderful place to visit. There's some nice outlets out there for clothes, with them being quite close to Italy, if you like your des the designer clothes. And you're not going to be paying perhaps as much as you would in Italy in a place like Milan. So if you do go, take advantage of that, definitely. I bought some nice clothes from that area uh, and, you know, had many, many years in them. So the quality is good as well as the price. So you will not be disappointed. Yeah, Malta is a wonderful country to visit and I definitely recommend it. 
even for just a one-off trip, you go and don't like it, you can go say you've been. Personally, I don't see how you wouldn't like it though, because it really is gorgeous. And a hundred percent recommend to any of you that it is somewhere that should be on your bucket list. This is my second video of the week. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and energy spent on my channel. Thank you all very much. Second of three videos this week. Put down in the comment section below. Is Malta on your bucket list? Is it somewhere that you would like to visit? Are you sold on what I've said today? Or do you still need some more convincing? Never mind, it's fine, you know. But definitely give it a try. I would recommend it, 100% I would. Remember, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a thumbs up and a like. And let's see that bell sign go ding dong. So you know when my next content's out. Until then guys, I will be back with my third and final video at the end of the week. Till then, I want to say thank you all ever so much as always. Look after yourself, take care. I'll be back in a few days. Bye for now.